Make me a hinge. Two um, clouds, like the smoke clouds that an airplane would make, um, coming in the sky, but but the position was from me. They were coming out uh, instead of being in the sky. They were coming out from me, and it was really powerful. And my heart sank. My whole everything just sank, and I knew. Um, I just knew it was the end, and I knew that. It was too late. I'm just way too far to get home. I was. Um, I knew in my mind I was in Italy for some reason, and it would take at least eight hours to get home. Well. And I was too far from my family. And I remember thinking, well, I'm not even at church. I'm not with anybody I know. I'm not with anybody I care about. I'm not with. I'm not at church. I'm not praying. I, I just kept thinking, I'm too far. Oh, what am I doing? Here? What am I doing here? And all I kept thinking I'm was, confused. I'm not ready. We're not ready. I'm not ready. Me. We're not ready. And I woke what? up I don't saying that this. over and over and over again. But you've been I'm not working ready. since We're not ready. I'm not ready. We're not ready. And, and I had before this, this dream hadn't thought anything Yet. about any, um, such a small pile thing. of tension. Um, but that day, I, so I was up early, it was seven probably that time I was walking around. It's a Saturday. And, uh, and I remember getting two videos from two different friends regarding the last day that morning. Um, it was like this constant, like, walking around and saying, okay, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. My family's not ready, I'm not ready. Um, that was also a couple months before the sign in the sky. And I uh, was talking about this baby.